Bradley Cooper, is truly a one of human being. This is someone who not only understands music, but knows how to shoot it. And that is absolutely essential if you're going to tell a story about Leonard Bernstein. He really had the whole thing in his mind. But then he was also spontaneous. He would find things in the moment and say, like, well, this is essential. We need to grab this. Yeah, and then, I think this would be great. Okay. He's got such a great eye. He was a great collaborator on set. Even though he's in makeup for four hours, and he comes and he directs the scene and blocks it. He can be the first great American conductor. To work with people who were able to be as brave as I felt we all needed to be to tell the story. That is a blessing for me. It was divine. Everybody had equal love for Lenny and Felicia. There really was a common goal. Like All we were thinking about was, what's the best way to tell the movie? You don't even know how much you need me to know. What's really great about Bradley is he really likes to tell the story that people don't know. For him, he needed to make it his own. So he tried to figure out a way into the story that was new and different and not a regular biopic. He essentially very quickly honed on in the relationship. And I think Bradley found something really stunning and inspiring in this modern love. As far as writing and directing and performing, he is so mind-bogglingly talented. I've never worked with someone so totally embedded in every part of the film. He could sit on camera, direct what was going on, and he yells cut while he's in character, gives Carrie direction, and then says roll again. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. He really would be sort of by the dolly grip doing this whilst he was talking to you as Lenny. There's a scene where they're at a doctor's office and midway through the hug, you don't see Bradley's face, but he's directing the camera to push in. He's telling the dolly grip, okay, push in, push in, closer, closer. And his instincts are incredible when he's in that mode. This is the most detailed and under the microscope mix maybe we've done. Bradley had the vision of what he wanted to hear. You talk to the different departments, they'll tell you the same thing. He's just fully invested. This film, his focus was something I've never seen before. It was so great to have a director who is in the film and who is also an editor because he really thinks about transitions. When we're working together, there was a lot of unspoken, okay, that's the right moment, and we were always in sync. Leonard Bernstein. He's not just an incredible visual stylist, but he is wonderful with actors. He did create a set that was like acting heaven where you could just sort of go anywhere, and it was so much fun. He loves his crew, he loves his cast, he loves the whole process of it. It was a remarkable experience. Very rarely have I had that kind of relationship with a director. I feel like the production design, the costume design, the makeup, the acting, the script, it all was to story, always. I feel like we fulfilled our goal and I think it's because we were all on the same page. And that's just, uh, that's gold for a filmmaker. It's one of a kind, you don't get that every day. Especially when you're making a film of this caliber where you know it's a piece of art and it's a beautiful story. And The whole vision is so wholly his that it just felt very safe. I couldn't believe I was gonna be a part of this.